hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today's tutorial is about the arduino hardware interrupts before we start the programming and practical implementation let's first discuss a little about the interrupts basically what is an interrupt its types scientists etc so what is an interrupt a feature of a computer or a microcontroller that permits the temporary interruption of one activity such as the execution of a program in order to perform another task in case of arduino you know that task can be anything it can be rpm monitoring it can be incre it can be incrementing and decrementing or alarm etc as per the programmer instructions we have two main types of interrupts software interrupts and hardware interrupts but as today's tutorial is about the Arduino hardware interrupts, so we will stick to this topic only. There are only two external interrupt pins in Arduino Uno. They are digital pin 2 and digital pin 3. We use attach interrupt function for creating external interrupt. Now, this is the Scientix attach interrupt, interrupt ISR. And mod so the interrupt ISR and more these are the parameters interrupt the number of the interrupt in Arduino interrupt 0 is on pin 2 and interrupt 1 is on pin 3 and the ISR stands for the interrupt service routine so this is basically a user defined function which is called when the interrupt occurs and one more thing that this function returns nothing and takes no arguments and now about the mode so we have uh, basically four modes the one is the low to trigger the the interrupt whenever the pin is low number two is the change to trigger the interrupt whenever the pin changes value and number three is the rising to trigger when the pin goes from low to high and the fourth one is falling for for when the pin goes from high to low so in this tutorial we'll be using the the mode number four which is the falling when it goes from high to low is this the infrared sensor which i am using when there is nothing in front of the sen sensor it gives a high signal at the output and when there is something in front of the sensor it gives low so whenever the infrared sensor detects anything it will always go from high to low so this is the best choice in in this uh, for me now we will start the uh, programming we will be starting with a very basic program that can be easily understood by the beginners we will be using interrupt 0 digital pin 2 we will start with an led and then we'll take the programming to a little complex level we will attach an infrared sensor for demonstration so now let's start the programming so now let's first define the pin which is integer led is equal to 13 and as each and every Arduino program has at least two functions, the one is the white setup and the other one is the white loop. Now, white means that this function is not returning any value and also this function doesn't take any arguments. So similarly, this one now let's use the pet mode function pen mode led output digital right led so let's keep the led uh, uh, at low state by default and now let's attach the interrupt so attach interrupt zero and the function i'm going to be using is uh, my delay okay or my led for example my led and i'll be using the falling is the sensor i'm using uh, will always goes from uh, high to low and uh, so the the infrared sensor is is connected to digital 
been to of the or you know you know okay now that's it and now in the white loop we will write some uh, basic instructions uh, like uh, digital write LED high and then keep it on for about uh, three seconds and then we'll off the LED for three seconds and now let's make a function which is wide my LED so each time the interrupt will occur it will ex execute the instructions which are in this my LED function so I will simply write uh, digital write LED low so whenever the interrupt will occur it will stop the normal execution and it will jump over here and it will turn off the LED. So now let's check this. So now as you can see this LED is turning on and off exactly after 3 seconds. So, it's, so it uh, remains on for 3 seconds and then remains off for 3 seconds. So which is the normal execution of the program. Now it is on as you can see when I put my finger in front of the sensor it turns off immediately. It doesn't wait for three seconds. Let's change this code a little bit. Change I use attach interrupt zero my LED and following in the wide loop function over here. So I'm attaching interrupt over here and the rest of the program is the same and then over here I did a little bit of the modification that is this time I'm counting so here count is equal to count plus one serial dot print line count and then after that I detach the interrupt zero and then after that when come back to the white loop again I attach the interrupt so let's upload this program and see So now as you can see the LED is working as per the instructions uh, it remains on for 3 seconds and remains off for 3 seconds and when the interrupt occurs it should count so as you can see when I put my finger in front of the sensor you can see it's incremented 1, 2, five six so that's how interrupt can be used if you like my video subscribe to my channel share my videos with your friends and thanks for watching